So we just arrived at Lewa Conservancy. We're leaving the truck here and we're jumping in this one. We're going to Elawana. Are you excited? Of course I'm excited. <laughs> so meet Tom. Tom is going to be our guide for the weekend. Hi, Hi Tom. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> right now we're going uh, straight to the camp. Hopefully we're going to be able to show you guys uh, before we lose all the light. Uh, it's about 15 kilometers from the uh, the parking lot for a visitor from the, yeah, the headquarter. And let's see what we can find on the way. By the way, we, we already have snacks. <laughs> snacks and drinks already. <laughs> So we've seen this in a couple other places as well, but here with the drought, it's just been so bad this year that even the buffaloes look very, very weak. Um, there are, I don't quote me on this, but there are a couple species that they're even starting to feed with just like a little bit of hay so they can kind of sustain them because it's that bad this year. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Very good. I am Thomas. We spoke briefly yes. on the phone. Yeah, I'm nice Tracy. Hi, nice to meet you too. So welcome to tent number 12. This will be home for the next few days. First of all, before we ha go in, I have to mention the view. It is beautiful. So we have a couple little chairs here. I kind of wish we had more time so we could sit and enjoy, but maybe tomorrow afternoon. And it just looks over Lewa Conservancy. It's beautiful. Okay, let's go inside. So you come inside. We have a little workstation with everything there. A couple chairs. Beautiful king size bed. <laughs> but when you keep coming, we have another bathroom with a view. Um, shower there. Sink. I can just see outside when you're using the bathroom. It looks like there's a big bush there, but I swear you can see a little bit further. It's pretty cute. Our sixth time at an Elewana property and as soon as I saw the truck in the main parking lot I already knew that it was gonna be a great weekend we have not been disappointed by Elewana yeah I didn't ever. even try the food yet I already know it's gonna be great <laughs> pretty confident and the beds already super comfy and there's already a special supper tonight which I'm pretty excited about. yeah so that's gonna be great So tonight we have a very very nice setup outside candles under the star the stars it's a, are out. yeah <laughs> and it's beautiful it's a clear night so yeah. very nice and romantic we have a swahili slash african uh, team night yeah um we have For a supper. barbecue i'm not sure what else is going to be there but i'm very excited because i do like barbecue meat yes you do <laughs> So for supper, we're having chicken tikka and mango, some salad, potatoes, vegetables. We have some samosa and chapatis. So Dave being Dave, when we showed up and they're like, do you have any dietary requirements? He's like, no. He's like, actually I do. He's like, I must have chapatis at one time while I'm here. <laughs> so guess what they brought out for supper? <laughs> chapatis. <laughs> Oh. 
So a wonderful and delicious supper as always.、Mm-hmm. I ate way too much chapati, so now I'm kind of in a food coma. Something I really like, and I'm pretty sure I say it in every Ella Wana video, is they always they don't do just modern. Like they add in an African Kenyan Swahili flair to yeah, it as well. Yeah, so it's really, really good.、Like. Yeah. So now we're gonna sleep in this very comfy bed. Yeah. Tracy just said it's the perfect firmness. It is. I'm gonna fall asleep in a minute. Nice and cozy. So bedtime for us because well, it's safari. So in a safari, early morning. So six thirty. Um, safari,、Leaving. so 6 a.m. wake up. See you guys in the morning. <laughs> Good morning. It is 15 after 6 in the morning. The moon is still up, but the sun is coming. You might be wondering, where's Tracy? Tracy's been、uh, feeling a little bit under the weather for the past few days before coming here, so she's taking extra hours this morning to sleep. So hopefully, she's going to be fine for the rest of the day and for tomorrow. But you and I are going on a safari. So Tracy told me that we're not allowed to see lions, leopards, and elephants. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was a beautiful sunrise. The sky is completely clear this morning, and Mount Kenya is completely out of the, the clouds. And I've never seen it this clear in my life. So that was Roni, one of the biggest male white rhino around. There's about 214、uh, rhinos in Lewa, about half and half、uh, black and white rhinos. And I know I sound like I know a lot about like animals in Lewa, but it's all from Tom. Tom tells me all the information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really big, and like his horn is very impressive. One of the biggest I've seen. Yeah. So we just entered an exclusion zone, and that means that the elephants are not allowed in this zone. And you can tell because there's trees and greeneries and bushes, vegetation everywhere. It's much more lush because, believe it or not, elephants they love putting tree downs and just destroying everything. So this zone exists here in Lewa, so it allows the vegetation to grow and create food for other animals like rhinos. Apparently, those are hyena footprints. Our bladders and fill up our stomach. It's it's breakfast time. We've got some yogurt, muesli,、um, some muffins, sausages, and just these things which are kind of chapatis, but like with cheese and bacon in them. Really, really good. Here we go.
area on my left is actually a prohibited zone for any kind of off-roading because believe it or not it's actually an archaeological site where they found some tools used by the early men uh, to butcher animals and eat meat. Fascinating. Tom, thank you so much. You're we'll welcome. see you again at 4? At 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. Yes. Sounds good. All right, see you. All right. <laughs> that was a really, really good game drive. We saw a lot. By we, I mean you and me. Because <laughs> Tracy was still in the tent. But Tom is really a good guy. And I really appreciate him for one particular reason. And is it's his an understanding of photography. So he is a photographer himself. And he really understands how to correctly position the truck uh, in regards to the sun and not to have the shadow of the truck on the animals and things like that so that was really really nice and it made my job much easier earlier when we saw the archaeological site it made me think of a fun fact did you know that most scientists do agree that mankind actually started here in kenya and the auroran to genesis which might be a relative of us now actually was born here in Kenya and scientists are arguing if it was actually a human relative or not but whatever I'm not here to start an argument about that or a debate I'm just a travel vlogger and and what I do is filming my food so you know don't listen to me honey I'm home you look good makeup and everything I feel a lot better oh that's my good my belly's my belly's fine but if anyone has traveled two countries you know that sometimes you just can't stray far from a bathroom <laughs> that's all missed the best safari ever i saw 12 leopards 16 <laughs> cheetahs nine lions and even a if, pink rhino if we saw that it'd be all over instagram <laughs> now i feel clean much less dusty and i'm ready for lunch the view right out in front of our tent is beautiful now let's go for lunch because I'm hungry even though I ate a lot at breakfast because I, I had to eat for, for, for three. Well, I was with Tom. Yeah. Tom ate quite a bit too, but I had to like, you know, compensate for you. Thanks. <laughs> we don't want to waste food. Can we also just take a second and appreciate how nice and beautiful it is outside right now? Tracer, are you pumped about the weather? It is beautiful. Warm sun, clear sky, the birds are singing, the, the vloggers are annoying. What? <laughs> so for lunch we're actually having it by the pool and it's our first time seeing it so last night it was kind of dark we didn't have that much time to explore around but yeah really nice pool so to start we have three different types of salad bean salad caprese salad a shamba salad and ciabatta bread it's still warm it's so good i'm also really hungry <laughs> Just get the rest some beautiful cauliflower and zucchini fritters with some sauce, some potatoes, and some Tuscan chicken. Tuscan? Tuscan chicken. That. <laughs> that. Whatever she says. It's very different in the sense of like it's not an overly sweet chocolate or anything like that. Very good. So we just came out of the lunch area and that's where the pool is and everything. And then behind me this way <laughs> is the fire pit and that's actually where we had supper last night under the stars. And then over here is a bit of a reception lounge, bar, supper if it's raining, on all in one area. <laughs> so I'll show you that way. So inside the bar area you have, well, the bar. <laughs> um, and then you have a really fancy nice coffee machine and multiple fireplaces as well. So if it's cold outside at supper time, you come in here to warm up, it's great. <laughs> now that our bellies are full, we're gonna relax a little bit and see you guys back at tea time. Yeah. Get to put your, your pinky up when you say tea time. Only when you drink your tea. Yeah. I, I don't drink tea, so I don't even know what I'm talking about. Time for some after 
Kerinci. Mm, you're really gonna like this. I love coconut stuff. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's yeah, really good. iced coffee, iced, iced tea, tea normal coffee. tea, normal coffee. Mm -hmm. I love it. You gotta put your pinky up, even though it's cold tea. Mm. I'm excited. We're sitting here watching some rhinos, and honestly, we haven't seen rhinos in a while. But there is a female there, and she is 41 years old, and the typical lifespan is between like 35 and 40. She's doing pretty good, and she's had 14 calves. 10? 10 or 14? 13. 13. 13. Neither. 13. <laughs> Thanks, good, Tom. Good thing, Thanks, good Tom. thing Tom's there. <laughs> yeah, but that was close. Yeah. <laughs> He's fact checking. <laughs> terrains are just so interesting sometimes you're just at a very high point where there's almost no trees and right, right now we just drove down into a valley and there's literally palm trees so a few days ago they actually spotted a leopard here with a probably a broken paw that's what they're thinking and now the veterinarian unit is actually uh, driving around trying to spot that leopard and apparently it was in this area about 30 minutes ago so we'll see if we get lucky and if we do well we'll, we'll tell the vet unit saving animals so the tree that they saw the leopard in it's actually still there but it does have a kill right now which is pretty impressive because if you see the clip of it walking that's crazy um, but anyway, so vets are there and they're gonna give us a call if they spot him. But for right now, he's just up in the tree. And it's not accessible by the vehicles, which is why we can't really do anything or else they try and flush him out. So they're just kind of waiting, hoping he's gonna come down. And we can't see it. Yeah, no, we can't see it. <laughs> we think it's in the tree. They're pretty sure. <laughs> Stopping for a buffalo crossing. I don't see the sign though. Time for sundown. I mean, the sun kind of got clouded over, but eh, that's all right. We have a good spot. <laughs> So we just came back to the lodge. It was a very nice game drive, even though mm -hmm. the sundown was like, not really we a sundown. Clear, pretty much clear sky until then. Yeah, inside. but it was still very nice. So we're eating inside for supper tonight. Got a nice fire going. Two, one there, one there. Sure, they just started the second <laughs> fire. <laughs> and I'm hungry, kinda. I feel like I ate all day, but. <laughs> Typical safari <spray> camp. <laughs> Dessert looks so good. There's even like caramelized popcorn on it. What? It's like if cake and fudge had a baby. <laughs> so good. Tracy's right. It's delicious. Was my description so accurate? Mm -hmm.
good safari, good supper, good day, good night. <laughs> That's it. We just got out of our tent and there's a buffalo right there about like 40, 50 meters away. Just being careful. Good early morning. The moon is still up just like yesterday, but the sun is coming and look who's joining us this morning. Good morning. If it isn't Tracy herself. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee in hand. making our way back we finally found some elephants and those guys are most likely residents of Lewa because Lewa is actually a migratory corridor so most of the year there's actually not a lot of elephants here but we found some some chapatis, some bye-bye chapatis. So another great stay at Elawana. This is number six, hopefully not the last one. We truly <laughs> enjoy this yeah, collection. I think for us too with Elawana, it's always one of those camps that we don't have to worry about anything. Mm -hmm. You know there's always great staff, there's great food, great accommodation, like it's kind of a fail-safe. Yeah, as soon as like, we arrive in the parking lot, we knew it was gonna be great. Yeah. And again, no, no disappointment. It's almost, and I'm not gonna lie, so like, I had a bit of tummy trouble earlier, not because of here. Um, and I had like a homey feeling. Yeah. Like I didn't feel like I was away from home. It was just. Yeah, we should just move here full time. That'd be great. Plus, like, Let's by the that. way, I don't know how they do it, but Elwana, they have the most comfy mattresses <laughs> ever in all their camps. Like, it's it's the kind of bed that I just want to put in the back of the Land Rover and bring it back home. I feel like they add like memory foam toppers. That's to what it they or do, something. yeah. Anyways, so anyway, very, it, was, very it was an amazing stay. All their information are going to be yeah. uh, down below. Lewa is definitely an amazing conservancy. Um, yes. I highly suggest. It's very different than the Masa Mara and Embassy and everything. The terrain and everything. It is beautiful and stunning. Oh, yeah. So highly suggested. So again, all the info you need down below. And otherwise, see you guys in the next one.